Good morning everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, bright and early here this morning. Um, out here for sunrise. Um, just testing out this new video light that I've got actually, which seems to be working pretty good because it's still relatively three parts dark here this morning. So um, I'm just out here with Martin, my client. Um, I've got him here for five days uh, in the South Island. So we're just doing a bit of a bit of a uh, photography workshop for five days. We started off yesterday, which was Sunday. Uh, we went into a really nice canyon yesterday afternoon, some nice green moss and waterfalls and, and you know that kind of thing. So it was a really good, a really good start to the week. Uh, got some nice images there. So we're just out here this morning. Uh, you might, this place may look familiar if you've watched some of my other videos. Been here a few times before. You can see these, uh, these three mountains in the background here. Uh, last time I shot a video here, it was actually covered in snow, so uh, no snow this morning. Uh, it's actually, considering that it is the middle of winter still, it's actually not that cold this morning. Um, it's only sort of around zero degrees, um, not really much frost on the ground. Uh, there's a little bit of cloud up there, just some really light, wispy clouds up there, so our hope this morning is that we get a little bit of that soft pink light over these three peaks behind us and um, hopefully we can get a couple of nice subtle um, pastel -y type images here this morning and this is a very uh, traditional New Zealand sort of scene where you have a lot of this yellow um, tussock grass they call this stuff so that's our plan this morning we get the sun's going to come up over this direction which will be over our right shoulder because we'll be facing that way of course uh, so that's the plan this morning, so um, I'm just going to shoot a bit of a video this week, just a few snippets um, over a five day period of what we get up to and um, hopefully we can get some good images and get some good video for you and um, show you what it's all about. So thanks for tuning in and let's see how we go here this morning. So we've hung around here uh, for a good hour or so now, the sun's definitely risen. Um, these, these mountains at the back here, we're really, sir, we're really hoping for some nice sort of pink um, clouds over those mountains at the back and hoping that when the sun rose we'd get some really nice golden light on the tops of those mountains. Hasn't really happened. <laughs> Um, we have had some nice light and some nice pink clouds, but in the wrong places. Uh, the pink clouds have been more over the other side here and even behind us, almost like a reverse sunset. Um, we're, just, we're just wondering, you know, we're not getting the light on these mountains behind us that we'd hoped. So we're going to move on. Plenty of options around this area, so um, we have got some good shots here this morning, nevertheless. So. Um, We'll move on and um, see what else we can find. Okay, so we've come out for sunset uh, this evening. Um, very un, very unlike the New Zealand backcountry. We've, we've got no clouds at all. We've got just bluebird skies. There's actually one or two tiny little clouds at the back of this valley. There's literally a, a cloud-free sky, which is pretty unusual. But anyway, we've um, we've come up right up the back of this valley here. You can probably see these peaks. Uh, behind us here we've decided to just sit on this composition um, basically we're just going to back our instincts here and 
just stay here until after sunset. Um, the hope is that we catch some nice glow on these peaks as the sun's setting and even after the sunset. Often in the winter time, after the sun sets, sort of moving into that blue hour period, you get this really nice glow behind the mountains and you get that nice contrast of the white snow with a sort of pinky purple glow in the sky. Uh, and if you use a circular polarizer, you can kind of really enhance that contrast. So make that white snow really pop out against the darker background, sort of like a pink purple style color. So that's what we're that's what we're hanging around for, and hopefully it'll pay off. So um, we'll just wait and see what happens. Martin's been very patient. <laughs> Patience, yep. Patience. So we'll see how we go. Okay, so the bet's paid off. Uh, we've hung around waiting patiently, but it's actually, it's looking really nice here now. We've just got some really good shots. Um, pretty simplistic stuff, but that really nice pink, uh, crimson sort of glow above the mountains is really starting to, really starting to happen now. Sunset was uh, actually about 15 minutes ago, so it's, it's uh, six o'clock now, sunset was about quarter to six, so um, right down the back in the Alps, not sure if it's in the video down here, um, there's some beautiful light and right across these, across the top of these peaks behind us, there's just that real nice light purple pink colour, so it's been worth hanging around. Uh, the wind's come up quite a bit from the northwest, it's bloody cold. <laughs> the wind's cold, um, but it's been worth it. So um, hopefully we've got some good shots here. We'll sign off soon. We'll um, probably go into town and have a cold beer and some Thai food, I think. So um, should be good.
Oh, well, good morning again, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, it's still pretty early here. It's not even sunrise yet. It's um, what time is it? Sunrise is still about 15 minutes away. We've been shooting for probably three quarters of an hour already. We got here well before sunrise and um, actually took some shots of uh, some sort of moonlit scenes because the moon was still up here. Really beautiful morning. Um, some superb light going on here so I'm not going to take a lot of video we're going to probably focus a bit more on the images at the moment but um, both myself and Martin have already taken some good shots so it's a good morning it's it's definitely a thumbs up um, the sky lit up early uh, like really early it sort of lit up and then it faded away um, but it's coming back again now it's just starting to come back again with that real nice winter sky those soft um, crimson pinks and those real nice blues um, yeah it's a good morning um, considering it's the middle of winter it's still not there's no frost there's a you know like sort of four or five degrees this morning still feels quite cold but um, nevertheless there's no ice or frost or anything like that which you often do get here in these backcountry valleys so I'll show you what we're shooting and um, we, we'll get back to business here See what you got there, Martin. Yeah, that's nice, mate. You happy with that? I am. It's a good shot. Thank you. You like this spot? Yeah, pretty nice, all right. Let's see what I got over here. Bit of a scroll through here. Well, we've just come a little bit further up the valley this morning. Um, we found another spot here that we're about to shoot. Just got to climb down, uh, climb down here. So bear with me. Um, I'll just spin you around so you can see what we we've got. Martin behind me there. Beautiful little reflection in this. Uh, this sort of little backwater of the of the river here it's just gorgeous so um we'll head over there and give it a shot stunning morning a bit of ice here too martin yeah. Bit muddy. Oh, <laughs> a 
Okay. Just probably just see this little reflection behind us here. I'll get a more zoomed in shot and uh, and show that to you. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so you can sort of see what we're shooting here, this little That's our scene If you'd like to join one of my group photography workshops or a private workshop of New Zealand, please get in touch with me via my website. Hi again guys, well uh, Tuesday afternoon back out for sunset uh, again this evening, another beautiful day, really beautiful evening. Extremely warm this afternoon up to about 16 degrees uh, which is very unwintry for New Zealand. Uh, you can probably see what's happening here behind me, I'm sure most people will be pretty familiar with this mountain down the back here, this is Mount Cook, uh, it's New Zealand's biggest mountain, beautiful mountain. Not sure if you can see to uh, to this side, there's another mountain as well. It's called uh, Mount Tasman. So they are the two biggest mountains in New Zealand. There's some nice uh, grasses and sort of uh, sandy uh, terrain here behind us. So we've, we've sort of scoped this area out for a couple of hours. We've really looked around and we looked at about three or four different um, shots, but we settled on this one. It's quite a simple shot. Uh, just that nice yellow grass in the foreground, a little bit of sand, and then the mountains at the back. It's it's a pretty simple shot, but I think it'll work. Um, we're still a fair way off sunset. We're probably uh, about 45 minutes away from sunset yet, so we've got a bit of time to really refine our composition and, and just get the shot spot on. Um, if it's a reflection of last night, uh, there'll be some really nice late sort of glow in the sky like a pinky purple glow so the plan is to just um, stay here until that happens and um, make some good shots. You, once again we use a circular polarizer basically what that does is just give that really strong contrast between the between the white snow on the peaks and then the sky above it sort of really separates them makes the white snow really vibrant and pop out um, and also darkens the sky and gives it some really nice contrast. The other thing the circular polarizer also does 
is if you look in the in the brighter highlight or in the shadow areas, sorry, of um, of Mount Cook, you'll see sort of quite a bit of haze in there. Um, it's actually smoke haze. There's been some smoke around today. The polarizer also kind of cuts through that and kind of has like a dehaze effect. Um, so that helps as well. Just adds that extra sort of contrast to the scene. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually back about probably. 30 feet from these um, grasses behind us. The reason we're doing that, getting back a bit further, is so that we can we can use a, a, a longer focal length so that we can kind of zoom in. The reason we do that is the reason we zoom in, we're zoomed in um, at about 60 millimeters with the 24 to 70 lens. The reason we're actually zoomed in a bit is because any uh, whenever you use a wide angle lens it always makes makes things look a lot further away than what they are particularly mountains it makes them look small and makes them look a long way away so you zoom in at 60 millimeters what you're actually doing is you're bringing the background forward so you're kind of compressing those mountains at the back and making them look closer and bigger and um, so that's exactly what we're trying to do here so We'll get down to business here and uh, see how we go. Two ways we'll shoot it. We'll shoot a landscape image, which is your normal uh, landscape aspect, uh, and also vertical. Um, I think people call that portrait, don't they, Martin? Portrait? Portrait, yeah. Yeah, I call portrait. it um, vertical, but we'll try both. Um, see how we go. Uh, when we were here earlier this afternoon scoping out, back over this way, over here, uh, actually did see a, a pretty cool um, dead log laying on the ground that had like sort of branches coming out like fingers um, so I might even run over and have a look at that later and see if I can potentially get a get a bit of a different shot on that but we'll see how we go we'll get down to business So guys, uh, as I talked about before, this this uh, fallen down log, I've, I've come searching and I've found it. I'm just going to be quick because I really want to hurry up and try and have a go at this shot. But you can see the log here. Um, is it going to work? I don't know, but I'm going to try it. So um, I just thought I'd run back over here and have a go at it. So um, let's see how we go. If it works, you'll see an image. If it doesn't, well, I tried. If you like my photo editing style, make sure you check out my photo editing tutorials on my website. I'll post a link in the comments below this video. Okay, good morning guys, um, bright and early here. We're at uh, Tasman Lake this morning. You can probably see my glasses are fogged up. <laughs> can't, um, can't even hardly see the camera. Uh, we just hiked in here in the dark, so a bit, a bit hot. Um, beautiful morning here, really gorgeous actually. Like there's no clouds as you can probably see, but, um, but that's okay. It's, it's a beautiful calm morning, there's some Really nice light already starting to kiss the mountains. This one up here is Mount Cook. I'm going to take my glasses off, they're fogged up. Uh, yeah, this one up here is Mount Cook. Um, Tasman Lake straight behind me, of course. You can probably see there's a few nice icebergs uh, behind us here. Uh, no clouds in the sky at all this morning, like not a single cloud. We've had a very cloud-free week so far, which is pretty unusual. But anyway, um, we're certainly still going to get some really nice glow on these mountains. It's that real winter blue colour here. Um, and we've certainly got some, some good icebergs to, to play with in the background here. So they should be, they should be really good for composition uh, for the foreground. So, um, yeah, you can see the, the glow starting to hit Mount Cook there behind us. So pretty excited, actually. Uh, Martin's certainly keen to be here. Um, He's never been here before, so people are always quite excited when they get the first view of the lake from up the top here. 
it's a pretty stunning view. There's there's no doubt about that. It's probably one of the it's up there in terms of landscape um, landscapes in the world. I think it's beautiful. So I'll get down to the lake edge and um, get set up and get on with it. some uh, good colour in the water. Yeah, you want to get that alp and glow. So, Martin, tell us um, what are you shooting here, mate? Um, so I've been sitting here for a little while just working this composition. Um, initially I had Mount Cook on this side of the frame, um, but I've moved it around a little bit to get this rock coming in and leading you in and then up across. Um, so I thought that was quite nice in getting the two bits of line in the bottom. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, so. that's good, mate. Yeah. It's worth just sitting in one spot and just working it a little bit. It is. Bit of good advice from Brett. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's nice, mate. Well done. Thank you. And um, how are you enjoying the week so far? It's been good. Yeah. yeah. No, very nice. Yeah. It's been a, a very enjoyable time. And this right. is your first time to Tasman Lake? Yep. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. What's your favourite place you've seen so far, do you think? To be honest, yep. I like the place we went to yesterday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, this while it's big and grand, yep. it's just too much almost, and yeah. it's very hard to. Um, it can be a bit of um, sometimes a bit chaotic with these icebergs here, so a little bit hard at times to sort of work out your compositions here because there's a lot of icebergs. So it's always one of those places that kind of works well when you really try and just simplify it. Um, you know, you don't try and get everything you see in front of you here in your shot. Uh, you just try and break it down to something really simple, basically exactly the same as what you've just done. Okay, uh, it's our final final sunset here with um, with Martin. Martin's come down this week to hang out with me um, from Wellington on the North Island in New Zealand. Um, so this evening's our final sunset. We've arrived pretty early again, just really trying to um, really trying to nail the compositions because let's be honest, um, pretty much all week we haven't really got any amazing skies um, the skies have been a little bit tricky they've mainly been you know this sort of sky behind us here which is just real bluebird sort of skies not that there's anything wrong with that but uh, it's better when you've got some clouds to work with but anyway so because we've we've got very little happening in the sky we're really trying to get uh, the compositions like spot on so pretty much what we've been doing is just getting to a location sort of well before sunset and spending you know a good amount of time really scoping out what's in front of us and um, just trying to get the, the composition spot on and that's what we've done here again this afternoon we've um, we've got here pretty early and we've really got our compositions honed in um, and now we'll just set up and and wait for the light the lights coming now this hill behind me here uh, the mountain behind me the the sun's just sort of setting 
behind that mountain now so it's starting to throw us into shade throw this whole area behind us into shade so we're we're pretty much getting into a position now where we can where we can probably start shooting um, the pond behind me here as you can see it looks pretty good it's uh, starting to really sort of calm off a bit just readjust the focus here uh, yeah it's starting to really calm off a bit here behind me so um, we're just going to go down a bit further I'll show you down probably see Martin in the distance down there there he is down the end there so I'm going to head down there um, we found what we think's a pretty good shot there or a pretty good couple of shots there actually so we'll head down there and get set up and uh, see how we go So how have you enjoyed the week so far mate? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's been nice, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our last sunset. Um, what do you think's going to happen here this evening? I'm relying on you telling me that the clouds are going to come <laughs> across and light up. Yeah, um, and I think it looks a little bit that way. It's looking promising. There's a little bit of sort of wispy cloud there. Yeah. There's not a lot, but there's a bit. And there's a bit of glow in the sky, so it might turn out right. Yeah. So what's been your favourite place this week? Definitely here, I this think. This place? Yeah. 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 This is actually our second time here. Uh, we came here for sunrise yesterday, and we're back here for sunset tonight. Not in the exact same spot, but in a similar area, similar valley. Uh, it's a pretty nice spot here. So, Martin, you came down from Wellington. Um, you're shooting with a Panasonic G9. Yep, yep. What do you like about this camera? Size. Size. Yeah, just yeah. small camera small lenses um, delivers nice sharp pictures yeah yeah that's no, good lightweight I yes. know you, your camera bags only really yeah. small yeah. and weighs <laughs> nothing <Yeah. laughs> compared to mine Mine, yeah. mine's like carrying a bag of cement on your back oh yeah. that's good mate yeah so have you got much out of the week like have you learned anything um, yeah I've picked up a few things especially composition wise yeah which has helped yeah, because some of my images before have been a little bit unbalanced. Yeah, so it's quite nice to be point, have that pointed out. Yeah, yeah, that's good, mate. Yeah. All right, that's we'll get nice. down to shooting some. We'll get shots. down to sunset. Yeah.
pretty sure you can see what I'm shooting here. Um, the way I see it, there's there's really only two ways to shoot this scene. Um, well, there's more than two. There's lots of creative things, but for a fair, fairly uh, traditional landscape photo, um, there's landscape orientation. For me, if you're going to shoot the landscape shot, you probably forget about the foreground, even though I just did shoot it then, I was just experimenting. If you want to shoot a landscape shot, for me, you just take the mountain scene and the reflection and keep it really, really simple. Um, I think I actually prefer this one, which is the vertical image, which is shot really wide. I think I'm out to 17 millimeters or something. Actually about 18 millimeters. I like this shot. There's lots of, um, lots of foreground in the shot which I, I think I like better. So I'm just experimenting, but I think I'll probably end up with this one. Really strong foreground at a wide angle. Uh, the idea is to get the camera up fairly high and sort of tilt it forward. Um, sort of changes the plane of focus a bit and really accentuates the background. Because of a wide angle lens, it kind of uh, distorts a bit and when you get the the, uh, the lens up high and sort of tilt it forward, it kind of distorts the background and stretches it. Um, which is what you want really because a wide angle lens traditionally shrinks the background. So that's what I'm doing. So if this image turns out alright, I'll show it to you now. Morning guys, um, video's just playing back there in the background, this morning is epic, it's too good to be uh, playing around taking videos so you're not going to see much video, uh, we've got to get these shots, this is amazing. You can probably see the light on my face, that's, that's the sunrise, this is not saturated, it's amazing. 
Um, I've shot here lots of times before, so I've got all the traditional shots here, the fence going into the water, the big mountain, all the, you know, good shots, but I've got them. So I'm focusing on something totally different. You can probably see, uh, oh, I can't reach it, the big mountain down the back there on sort of left of the frame. I'm focused right in on that mountain, um, just getting that reflection in the lake with that layer of cloud. It's stunning. So what are you thought of the morning, mate? Oh, it's an absolute cracker. Yeah. Awesome, it's, eh? It's um, a nice way to finish the week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, beautiful with the sunrise. Three oh, angles nice. here too, like you had that angle, that angle and that angle. Yeah. And they kind of went in that order. So that was good, then that was good, then that was good. Yeah. And we're not done yet. Um, those other little ponds up the road might even still be alright as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, I just waiting. I got a nice shot with the sun on the grasses. Yep. Which is really nice. I'm just waiting for it to come back. but. Looks like the clouds. Yeah. Snuffed it out a bit, eh? There's a bit of cloud out the back there. Yeah. Um, but that, you know, that really soft pink before. Mm. That's my favourite. Yep. Yeah. No, it's been good. I won't ask for a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Just need some guy to pull up with some coffee, and we'd be good. Yeah. Well that concludes our five day New Zealand landscape photography workshop. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep an eye out for my upcoming landscape photography adventure videos. If you'd like to help fuel my future photography adventures, you can head over to my YouTube channel and buy me a coffee. That would be very much appreciated.